last names and things with another project idea for you today. So today we are going to decoupage this vintage suitcase. I just got it at a local yard sale. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So just to begin, um, because this is a thrift store find um, and a yard sale find, I always wipe um, all the items that I get down with alcohol and hot soapy water. Okay, so just make sure that you do that. Now for this project, if you want, you can cover the hardware with um, with painter's tape just to protect it. Um, I don't mind very much if a little bit gets on there. I'm going to I'm planning on using this as a jury display for craft shows, but I'm going to show you, you the tech types of, of um, decoupage medium that you'd like. Okay. And then um, I have napkins, just really beautiful napkins. They have like French script on them and butterflies. And then I have wrapping paper and I have a sealer just to seal my work to make sure um, that, that it lasts for a while. So I do recommend that you get that. And then I have chalkboard paint. Also, and I made this one myself, but you can buy it. Um, they have it at Hobby Lobby. You just want to paint, I think, with a chalky finish is really pretty for deco patch projects. And then I just have a soft bristle brush, and I'm going to use that to paint. You'll also need a foam brush too, um, and you'll need some plastic wrap and gloves. And then I just have a little container here of warm water, and we will. So need our that first too. step to this project is that we are going to paint our suitcase so here I just have um, some chalkboard paint in like kind of a creamy color but you can use whatever color you like I just thought it would be good background okay and I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm going to begin painting my suitcase so um, and you just want to make long even strokes and this will just cover up any imperfections. Like um, this one has a couple stains. Um, so I just like it. It does have a couple tears too. So um, that's why I'm choosing to paint. It will be mostly covered. So if you wanted to skip this step, you absolutely could. But I just wanted to show you the technique of how you could paint before you start. And the sides of this, I will probably not cover this suitcase. So. Um, so it's so that's another reason why I'm also painting it too. Okay. So I'm just going to finish this up. I'll paint one side first and then I'll move on um, to the next side. And um, once it has dried, I think I'm just going to do about one coat because this has really good coverage actually. Um, then I will come back and we will begin okay, to guys, so our suitcase has been completely painted and it's dry. So now I'm going to show you how to divide your napkins so that they're one ply because this napkin has two, um, two layers, but we only want one. Um, thing to remember when you're decoupaging is that you want your paper to be as thin as possible. So you can like decoupage scrapbooking paper and thick things, but it just lays a little bit if you just make your paper as thin as you can. So all I'm going to do is I just have a recycled just spray bottle. It's a little mister that um, used to have perfume in it, but I cleaned it out and I put water in it. So I'm just going to give this a light spray, okay, and then I'll just give it a sec. And what that does is it separates the layers, okay. Just like that okay and then if I bring this up so you can see you see that it's already starting to separate okay so all I have to do is just take it and then very very gently I'm going to remove the two I'm going to pull the two plies away from each other okay and again just be very gentle and take your time with this process it's okay if there's a little tear or even a big one you can still use it Okay, you can just cover it up with um, one of those little embellishments that I showed you before. Okay, so you're very gently just going to separate your napkins and sometimes it'll have, you know, three or four plies. It just depends on which napkins you buy, but this is only one ply. And if you want to, you can spray a little bit more water, but the water really helps it to separate a lot better. Okay. Kind of a decoupage street trick that I know. Okay. 
Okay, and you're just going to keep doing that until you're only left with one one ply napkin. Okay. Now, if you were doing wrapping paper, you wouldn't have to worry about that. But wrapping paper, you do want to mist it down. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to arrange my papers the way that I want them to lay. so many tears you've been there for me i've been there for you look in the mirror and think this through something as perfect and pretty as you i never could leave you gotta believe but you think my heart's not there cause it's been a while you keep telling me it's been a while let me tell you something that's Project our vintage suitcase with um, three coats of Marge Podge on both sides. Um, so this is what it looks like. So, me. so it's very shiny, very beautiful, and it's coated on all sides, just like that. Okay. So it turned out very beautifully. Now. Um, I've already done this um, three times. I coated it with a sealer. So you're just going to coat your project with an acrylic sealer, which is here. So you just shake it up really good. Okay. And then you're just going to spray it. And you'll just spray it in a well ventilated area. And you're just going to go back and forth gently. 
and do that at least two more times just to make sure that it's nice and sealed. Okay. And you'll do that on both sides, but this is your completed project. So um, happy crafting and um, please feel free to share with me your pictures of this project if you decide to do it and let me know if you have any questions.